block into areas with water, whether it's Lake Conroe, Lake Livingston, there at some of the water parks down along our coastal communities. And today is going to be a good day because today will stay mostly dry. Unfortunately, it does look like the wet weather pattern returns, not only rain, but also thunderstorms for Sunday and Monday, so you need to keep a close eye on the radar. This morning Doppler radar is starting to see a few of those brief streamer rain showers that see thunderstorms, especially in some of our northern counties. Right now, it is 83 degrees, but it's that feels like temperature, the heat index value that, of course, we look at this time of year, and we're closing in on that 90 degree mark. Already feels like 93 down in Galveston, starting to see a few cars there collecting along seawall. Have a southeast breeze, 10 to 15 knots. A uh, slight chop around the bays there. Gulf waves between three to five feet. Surf temperatures are warm in the low 80s. Our next big rainmaker, storm maker, is this area of low pressure. A piece of this system is going to be pushing into our area, and that's going to bring us our next chance for some heavy rain and strong thunderstorms. The strongest of those storms today, as far as severe weather, stays well out to our west and to our north, and then starts to expand into our area as early as tomorrow. Here's why. A line of heavy rain and thunderstorms moves in early in the morning, right around sunrise, and then some brief heavy rain and thunderstorms push down closer to the coastline as we get into the afternoon. We get another little fetch of moisture coming in during the afternoon hours on Sunday. Now you put it all together, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, and we could be dealing with those rainfall totals stacking up right now. We're looking week and we could be dealing with those rainfall totals.